Hi everyone, welcome to the next section of this lesson. Today we're going to look at how to change the priority of a process, that is how to realize a learner's process with examples. And a quick one if you're going to be writing the RHC SC8 exam or the CZ Linux exam or the LFCS exam, just scroll down to the end of the website and click on the exam practice questions. All right. So we're going to be updating the website from time to time. And we're also going to be updating with the recent questions as well. So it's better you practice before you write the exam. And I'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below. You can also come to the website and click on the Irish CSA 8 exam practice questions here too. All right. Changing the priority of a process or the niceness of a process can be done by using the top command. And you can also use the CLI command. So to renice a process, that is to change the nice, the nice value of a process that is already running, you can use the command top, all right? So this will show the processes that are consuming um, higher resources, that is the top processes that are consuming the higher, higher resources on the system. So for example, you can see PID, which is the process IDs. You can see the user, which are the users that are using this process all right so you can see the pr which is also the priority of the process so the priority here is 20 the priority here is zero you can see the nice, the nice value which is zero you can see minus 20 all right so to renize a process um using the cli we're going to use the top command first before we use the cli all right but before we do that, let's just quickly see how to check the priority and nice value of a um, Linux process using the ps command. So, for example, if I my system is hanging, okay. So, for example, um, if I I can do ps right, I think eo the process id which is pid followed by parent process id followed by priority followed by the nice then followed by the command so you can see that i can get all these values from here and so to check the priority and the nice value of a process id that is running you can also use that command and grab it to that process id so for example let me run the dd dummy command just to create a process that we can use an, as an example. So I can do this, dev zero of dev null, all right? Let me just run this job in the background, okay? So this, I have talked about how to do this in the previous video. You can see that it is a job that is running in the background. And for me to see this, process if i do top you can see the dd command all right and you can see the process id which is seven seven eight seven four all right seven eight seven four so if i just do this and grab this to seven eight seven four You will be able to see the process ID, which is this, and the parent process ID, the priority, and the nice value followed by the command. So, to renice the value of this process and change the priority, all right, you can use the top command and you need to enter the key R, which means renice. By the time I enter the key R, we see that this tab was given to me which has this process id okay if the process id is not the value you have here you just need to enter the value so i can just say seven eight seven four though that's the value but i'm just doing that so if you want to renice the another process all right so press the enter key you can now renice pid to you can enter any nice value Right, so uh, I want to, I want this to be minus minus seven, okay, and I'm just going to tap the enter key as well, okay. 
So you can see here that the CPU time has increased to 99.7. All right. So I've been able to add more compute more resources to this process. And the priority value, of course, has changed to 13. All right. So there is more CPU power. Don't forget when I when we mentioned that the the priority or the nice value sorry of a process um can range from minus twenty to plus nineteen and minus twenty we have the highest priority so the negative ones we have the highest priority right so if I do minus seven or minus one you know that I'm going to really have a high priority okay. Like we said, the priority of a process can also be changed using the command line, all right? So to change the priority of a process, let me, let's try, let's run this process again. So this is process 7970, all right? So to renize this uh, process using the CLI command, let's um, verify with this command which is 7970 all right so you can see the nice value and the priority let's verify the current cpu utilization so i'm just going to do this 7970 okay i think all percentage cpu and um, percentage memory or oh, I think O oh, not zero my bad okay so you can see the CPU percentage and the uh, memory percentage okay so to change the priority and to give the process a nice value of minus seven I'll just use the command renice the nice value that's minus n followed by minus seven and the process id which is seven nine seven zero okay so you can see here that the old priority was zero and the new priority is minus seven so let's verify again all right so you can see the new one to be minus seven, all right? And the priority has increased to 26. So you shouldn't get confused. Um, there, there's a little, um, not, not really discrepancies, but there is a way the value is being displayed when you use the command line. And there's a way it's being displayed when you use the um, top command, all right? So if you use the, if you check the percentage, you can see that it has actually increased all right so what you need to be very sure of is when you understand the priority values for which is from minus 20 okay and the negative ones will have the um higher the higher priority all right if i use the top command on this process you can see that it is the same okay so you don't you don't have to get confused all right so when you use the command line the priority will just would increase instead of decreasing when you use as as against when you use the top you see let's just do this again so you see what i'm trying to explain so you can see the priority so it's just adding it to the former priority Whereas when you use the top command, it's going to be decreased. But the main thing is you should just understand how priority works, okay? And we've been able to achieve our aim. So now that we know how to renice um, a process, so let's see how we can nice a Linux process, okay? So this is how to set the priority of a process when the process has not started running, all right? So say, for example, you want to start running a process and 
you just want to set the nice value of that process before you start running the process so for example if i want to run the same dd uh, process all right i can just say okay i want the nice value of this process to be 11 okay and i'm going to this is going to be off i'm going to run the the command okay so this is a, a command that i mean you're gonna be having it linked in on your system so let's just run this again so we can be very sure all right so you can see that this is done and this is the job we have that job for the job id let's just run the top command all right so this is how you can nice a process in linux okay so thank you for watching now you know how to renice and nice a process in linux now you know how to change the priority of a process in linux all right so please subscribe to this channel and bye for now